Here's a photo from the UNC police uh, that I've got on my phone here in the studio. That is the suspect that police are looking for, an Asian male with close cropped hair, looks to be uh, probably late teens, early 20s, wearing a gray T-shirt. I think that the suspect or the person of interest that they had in custody for a while there uh, was also wearing a gray T-shirt, but the police apparently determined that that wasn't the person that they were looking for, but this is the person that police are looking for. No name attached uh, to him yet, but you could bet if they've got a photo of him, uh, they've got his name, they've probably got some other information, as Paul Morrow was mentioning, they might have a cell phone, and they could be tracking that if he's still got it turned on to see where, uh, where the whereabouts uh, of, of that individual might be. But as you mentioned, Jonathan, uh, this incident apparently, according to reports on the ground from people who were there, started in the Caudill Chemistry Labs and now has obviously spread well beyond that. As police say, this suspect is at large. They also say if you encounter this individual, do not approach them. Keep your distance. Put your safety first and call 911. So I imagine that the presumption is that this person is still potentially armed and dangerous. Sandra? All right, John, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.